You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. With your host, Pastor Kathleen Panning. Kathleen Panning, who has been an ordained minister for over 35 years, brings her experience to your ministry. Be it energizing your staff or working through conflicts with your faith community. So now, please welcome the host of A Flame Ministry, Pastor Kathleen Panning. Welcome. This is Flame Ministry here on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. I'm your host, Pastor Kathleen Panning, and this is a show about ministry for people who are professionals in ministry, whether you're a priest, a pastor, a rabbi, an imam, um, a deacon, an elder, whatever that title may be. or if you're a member of a faith community and actively involved in that community, being part of the ministry of the community, this show is for you. And during this show, we always have two basic um, focuses that we like to share. Um, one is to, when appropriate, dispel some misunderstandings between faiths and build bridges. And the other is to talk about things that are common to most, if not all, faiths because they are issues about people. My guest today falls a little closer into that second category. Um, She is the director of ministry at Peace Lutheran Church in La Crescent, Minnesota, where she does all of the piano and organ worship accompanying. And this is Chris Gustafson, and she selects and coordinates all the worship music, directs an adult handbell choir, and facilitates a drum circle or more than one. Uh, Prior to coming to this position um, about five years ago, Chris spent the previous 25 years as a public school instrumental music educator and band director. And so it is my great honor and privilege to welcome this morning Chris Gustafson, if I can get my mouth working this morning. Chris, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. I'm grateful to be here. Um, it's great to have you on the show today. And can you tell me a little bit about what we're going to be talking about your ministry of drumming and drum circles? And could you tell me a little bit about what that is and the, the language of drumming? Well, if we think about um uh, as a baby is born, the first the first sound that they hear in their mother's womb is the sound of a heartbeat, and so that heartbeat is everyone's very first language, and and so it becomes just a part of the human being from the time they are conceived up until they are born. And then as we are people, we are all grounded and rooted in a common heartbeat. And so what drum circles do is they take that common heartbeat and bring it to the forefront and bring people together through the use of the pulse, through the use of the heartbeat, through the use of commonalities in our humanness. And what you're talking about sounds like the language of the heartbeat that gets us going and gets us gets us moving in many ways. But there's also things that talk about and help us understand what this does to our brains. So please say a little bit more about that. 
Okay, drumming, um, what drumming does is it allows an integration from of your logical left brain thinking and your intuitive right brain thinking. And, and drumming will integrate the two of them together and then at the same time will take the part of your brain that focuses on nonverbal communication and takes the part of your brain that produces feelings of insight and understanding and weaves that all of together and takes us to a place very, very deep inside where we're keenly aware of everything that is unified within our mind and body and the connections between the two through the integration and through the use of all the parts of our thinking brains. It pulls all of that together. So that's that's a very beautiful way to talk about this. And then we integrating that all together uh, brings us in with the heartbeat and the rhythm that's there and is there anything more you want to say about how that works and what that does to people well we can just consider how how through the use of drumming we are we are connecting mind body heart and soul all weaving together through this very simple practice of beating a drum together in a circle with other people, and yet all we're tapping into the potential of all of those aspects of our being and all of those aspects of our being human. Um, so it's, it's a very, very primal kind of thing, and we know that from, from the, our ancestors were drummers. Um, and, and in many cultures, you tap into the histories and, and they knew what they were doing, even though they didn't have the science to back it. Um, but then all of that is integrated and pulled together and releases us and frees us to be able to be better versions of ourselves. And, and when you talk about many different cultures, that, that is absolutely true. Um, I've known drumming in uh, Japanese cultures, and we hear about that not only in Native American, but in like Japanese and many other cultures, and how that does integrate us into one being. And so that that's a beautiful way to talk about drumming. And you know, I think everybody can relate to having had an experience with some sort of music where we felt deeply moved and you know, it brings us together and does things to us, kind of connects us all, as you said, um, within a group and also helps us move inside. So I, what you're talking about, I think, is an experience that most people have had somewhere along the line with music. But you're talking about it specifically with the heartbeat of the drumming. And I think that's the unique part of all of this. Music is a, kind of a, a way of expressing ourselves and it's creative. Can you say a little bit more about that? How does that work with drumming? Well, the interesting thing about drum circles is it does not require that a person coming to a drum circle has any previous musical training or expertise whatsoever. And that's one of the coolest things about this is we often have people who have these barriers of thinking, oh, I'm not musical. I can't participate. I can't do this. And the reality of it is because they have a heartbeat, they have all the skills and all the expertise that is required to enter into a drum circle. And so it is all inclusive. No one is excluded from being part of a drum circle. And what it allows them to do is participate at whatever level they feel comfortable at. Some people, as they begin to, to enter a drum circle and, and participate, um, will merely um, imitate the drumming that I'm doing as I'm, as I'm facilitating the circle. And as they start out, and that is perfectly fine, they would start out just playing exactly what I'm playing. And it is so interesting, they'll focus on that for a while because that is within their comfort zone. And then all of a sudden, they will discover that they are drumming 
additional things to that rhythm. They've either changed the rhythm, they've morphed it, they've embellished it, they've enhanced it, whatever. All of a sudden they realize that they don't really have to stay with that very straightforward imitative rhythm anymore because they have freed up their own personal creativity and are now able to express themselves rhythmically in ways that they did not know they had the capabilities to do. That's absolutely wonderful you know, to be able to have that freedom of self-expression, but not need to have any previous training or musical ability. Um, and that opens this up to everyone, which is a beautiful, beautiful thing. It's, it's time for us to take a break. So this is BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. You're listening to A Flame Ministry. We're going to come back and talk more about prayer and meditation and how that fits in with drumming. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. French Rastafarian baker Chef Hugues Mott is a fourth-generation baker and has worked in 11 countries across three continents. Born in Mulhouse, France, he began apprenticing in his father's bakery at age 12 and has devoted his life to learning cultures of the world from inside kitchens across the globe. He also teaches traditional French baking by hosting demonstrations and classes, and his passion for baking is reflected in his delicious confections. With a deep respect for discipline and his Rastafarian way of life, Chef Uvmat exemplifies commitment to tradition and culture in a global world. Traveling extensively and combining a myriad of flavors into his recipes, Chef Uvmat brings a unique approach to baking. To read more about the French Rastafarian baker, visit www.frenchchefoug.com. That's H-U-G-U-E-S. Bon appétit and bless up. Mike Zorick, a three-time California state champion in Greco-Roman wrestling at 114 pounds. Mike, blind since birth, was born in Hartford, Connecticut. He was a six-time national placer, including two seconds, two-thirds, and two-fourths. He also won the Veterans Folk Style Wrestling twice at 152 pounds. In all these tournaments, he was the only blind competitor. Nancy Zorick, a creative spirit, whose talents have taken her to the stage and into galleries and exhibitions in several states. Her father, a commercial artist who shared his instruments with his daughter and helped her fine-tune her natural abilities, influenced her decision to follow in his footsteps. Ms. Zorick has enjoyed a fruitful career doing what she loves. Listen Saturday mornings at 12 Eastern for The Nancy and Mike Show for heartwarming stories and interesting talk on the BBM Global Network. Welcome back. This is a Flame Ministry. I am your host, Pastor Kathleen Panning. We're coming to you live this morning on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. And my guest today is Chris Gustafson. She is the Director of Ministry, uh, Music Ministry at Prince of Peace Lutheran Church in La Crescent, Minnesota. And we are talking about drum circles and a ministry of drumming and drum circles. And before the break, Chris, we have been talking about uh, the language of drumming and how this is open to everybody and it's a great way to express oneself and have do some creative things. But it's also a way to kind of draw inward and be very prayerful and meditative. Can you describe a little bit how that works and how that happens with drumming? Um, Absolutely. We all know um, about about how important um, taking time for prayer and meditation, um, how important that is. But some of us really, really struggle with having a really active mind, we call it a monkey mind, that just will not stop. And we want to slow down, and we want to stop, and we want to be still, and we want to be good listeners. Well, what drumming allows you to do is it it gives you something to do with your hands, very to have to be very physically engaged in drumming whatever you desire, and a lot of times it's a beat or a, or a repeated pattern, an ostinato pattern, um, but it gives you something to do with your hands so that your hands are physically engaged and they're receiving the vibrations and pulse, as is, the, is your entire body. 
but it also gives your ears focus, gives your ears something to focus on in listening either to what you personally are drumming yourself or what the others in the circle might be drumming. And so while your hands are busy and your ears are busy, all of a sudden you realize that your mind and your brain and your being is emptied and it is still. And then you can become a vessel um, to give or receive meditation or prayer. And, and at that moment, when, when, you, when you get to that point, you realize that you're able to express your prayers or your meditative desires, as well as just be a vessel for listening. And so, and so it sort of becomes a two-way communication um, with whatever, whatever being you want that to be. And, and, and one of the things about our drum circles is we are very, very um, open um, to, to our church members, to our community members, to believers, to non-believers, um, people of any religious affiliation or no religious affiliation. Um, when I'm facilitating drum circles, I'm very, very careful about the language and the words that I choose to use so that my words do not become barriers and do not become a vehicle for exclusion on the part of anyone because all are welcome. And so when I say that we sit and we drum in prayer and meditation, for me, it is prayer. Um, but for others, um, it is whatever mechanism of meditation or whatever meditative device they may be um, comfortable with or they may be exploring or practicing. It becomes whatever they are seeking, whatever they want it to be. Um, because, again, I do not want our drum circles to be in any way um, excluding anyone um, because we have a place we have a place for all and and as it becomes that that mechanism for meditation or prayer sometimes the rhythms become um, very much like mantras and so you'll come up with a short phrase um, maybe it's a gratitude prayer maybe it's a, a prayer of rejoicing maybe it whatever it might be and you begin to at times just do those words over and over and over again in rhythm with whatever you are drumming and it becomes that mantra again providing an opportunity for you to free your mind let those thoughts and whatever intentional um, things that are that are weighing your brain down and your thoughts down it lets them go and then you can focus on what what is that little nugget that little mantra that little intention that you need in order to free yourself and be able to be open to receiving whatever you may need to receive. When you talk about this mantra, I, I would kind of presume it's something someone says in their own head, not spoken aloud. Exactly. It's a very, it's a very personal and private thing. Um, you know, sometimes, sometimes I might begin begin a round of drumming with a suggestion but it never stays with that because that is absolutely a very individual thing so even though we are all drumming in circle in community many different rhythms are layered on top of one another and therefore many many different thoughts and ideas and expressions are all occurring simultaneously um, without without the need to use words to describe it to anyone else because sometimes words become a barrier for us in our, um, in our prayers. Sometimes we just need to, to express what is in our hearts and what is in our minds, and we don't have the words to use to describe it. Well, words are not necessary. And so then the rhythms um, that you're drumming with your hands become that vehicle and that mechanism for expression. And that that's absolutely beautiful. Uh, when I think of this, I of drumming in a circle like this, it, it takes on kind of a feeling of ceremony and ritual. Uh, how does that play in to what people experience in the drum circle? You know, it's, it's very interesting because um, we know that we all have a desire um, to and we and we cling to we cling to our rituals, whatever they may be, um, because that's what is familiar to us. And in the in in that familiarity, sometimes those rituals become very very meaningful in their own way. 
And sometimes they take on lives of their own and we don't even really realize or understand why it is so important to do things exactly the same way. And so we, we kind of just lean into that, the certainty that it is there, that it is the ritual. And as we drum together in a circle, there is a, a ritual to it. There is a, a tapping into the ancient rituals and and of many many different cultures where we don't necessarily understand the ritual of other cultures we don't necessarily understand the rituals of our own culture we don't necessarily understand sometimes our own rituals but what we can do when we're drumming through that is we can just be present and be okay with dwelling in the mystery of those rituals knowing that through our participation those rituals and the meanings will be enhanced that's absolutely beautiful we have a lot more to get to uh, in this conversation about how these things ground us and much much more but we're going to talk about that when we come back from our next break this is bbm global network and tune in radio you're listening to a flame ministry we're coming right back Author, radio show host, and coach, John M. Hawkins, reveals strategies to help gain perspective, build confidence, find clarity, achieve goals. John M. Hawkins' new book, Coached to Greatness, Unlock Your Full Potential with Limitless Growth, published by iUniverse. Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them, rediscover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and to in radio. Welcome back. I am Pastor Kathleen Panning, your host for A Flame Ministry here on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. And my guest today is Chris Gustafson. She is the Director of Music Ministry at Prince of Peace Lutheran Church in La Crescent, Minnesota. And the congregation under Chris's direction has started a ministry of drum circles. And that's what we're talking about this morning. And before the break, Chris, we were talking about how this drumming takes on a prayerful, uh, meditative quality to it for many people. But it also grounds us. And uh, you talked about that grounding and uniting quality Say a little bit more about how that works and some of the science behind that. Well, there's been some some studies done that has shown that when we bounce together in rhythm, it holds you together in community, um, in kindness and compassion. But if you think about an infant child, when a mother is trying to calm an infant child and the mom or dad, surely a dad as well, um, the parent is um, patting the child's back in, very, in a very regular rhythmic pattern and also many times bouncing that child up and down to try to soothe that child. These are things that we just know instinctively. No one has to teach us that that is what you do to calm a young baby. And we just do it. And What we've discovered is that there is really, really some exciting things if we take that that method of bouncing together in rhythm um, that the that the mother and father do with their infant child, and we bring it back into uh, the rest of our lives as we grow, whether it's um, adolescence or into adulthood. When you are in community. Or with one other person, it doesn't matter. It, community can be of in a community of two. When you are bouncing together in rhythm, moving together in rhythm, you all of a sudden become connected in a way that is 
is just an amazing experience. Science has proven that that's true. Now, I'm not a scientist, and so I'm not going to quote the specific statistics to it, but I'm going to tell you that there's enough research out there um, on a variety of a variety of topics having to do with drum circles that I am absolutely convinced that there is something that is scientific there, um, and that and that it is it is it is true and it is real. But I don't need the science to tell me what I know that I personally experience and what other people experience when they are participating. So as you are bouncing together, and you aren't really bouncing, but you're moving together, um, you all of a sudden are through those rhythms are breaking down any walls of separation that you might have. And all of a sudden you become united in a way that is very, very grounding and, and, and it brings you all together in, in unity. Not that you're necessarily drumming the same rhythms, but you're drumming with the same pulse. And you realize that we all as human beings are one. And, and it's through the grounding of that pulse that you then have created a relationship without needing to talk about it. You've drummed together and all of a sudden you realize that you are in relationship with these other people. And and then what you find is that in that relationship you're building that connection and it becomes a very sacred and holy time, a very sacred and holy space among you. Even though you've not named it, you've not put words to it, it is it is not necessary. You are all of the sudden speaking a very, very common language among you and all of the drummers in the circle. As you are putting your own true self forward in your unique ways of creativity and drumming, you're putting your unique self forward, but you have joined the common pulse of the circle. And so now you are all one, not giving up your individuality, but enhancing the common good of the group through your contributions of your own unique self. And, and so it, it's a really, really interesting a way of building relationships and relationships go very, very deep, very, very quickly. Again, without words, but only through the drumming. And you realize how connected you are to the other human beings that are sitting around the circle. And when that happens, you realize that you're, I mean, your rhythms do this, but you also, you begin to bond together and turn towards one another as your drumming complements one another. And what happens then is the bridges are there, the humans are connected, you're trusting and you're connecting and you are not alone. And we know that we as human beings have that very, very deep and innate need to belong. We want to belong and we want to be connected. And there you have in your drum circle, you are, you have built those connections and you are living out and experiencing those bonds and those connections. And, um, and it, it is something very, very powerful when that occurs. And we all know that, that in our culture, in our culture, we all, um, have a tendency to find that there are wedges between us, um, things that always point out our differences and make us turn away from one another. And when we can find something to do together that invites us to turn towards one another and takes those wedges away and pulls us all in and pulls us and unites us, it is so refreshing and energizing and enriching to our lives. And so it, it's kind of an amazing thing. Um, you can differ in opinions on many, many things. But the people sitting around the circle, those things no longer matter because you, on this particular experience, have turned towards one another, bonded together, grounded together in that common pulse, and you have unified and are now one. And so it's, um, it, it's, a, pretty, it's a pretty amazing experience. As you talk about this, uh, I'm, I think about what the times I've witnessed uh, – drumming with Native Americans, uh, and that it always is 
a communal thing. It bonds the community together. And experience, I experienced that at a funeral for a, a member uh, many years ago where at the cemetery, um, this person was part Native American and they had a drum drumming at the, at the cemetery. And it was a really powerful experience um, not to deny the Christian faith, but to unite and to celebrate the life that was there and to go forward. We do have to take another break at this point. But there's so much more to talk about, about some of the health and wellness benefits of this, and that's what we'll focus on when we get back. This is the BBM Golden Network and Tune In Radio. Stay tuned. We are coming back. If you seek a courageous advocate, prepare to champion your rights with consumer service agencies that support aging populations. Carol Ann Hamilton is the one for you. Carol Ann is an elder care coach, author, and speaker with a quarter million hours lived experience successfully supporting unculpable aging parents. As a result of a challenging journey, Carol Ann revolutionizes how stressed out caregivers restore serenity to their worlds. She also brings over 25 years of change management expertise in Fortune 500 settings to catalyze urgent transformation within the elder care industry. Carol Ann is a popular speaker at conferences across North America. She has appeared via TV, radio, and print globally. Now you can tune in weekly to get a dose of her inspiration plus down-to-earth advice to cope with even the most difficult aging parents. Listen Wednesdays at 9 a.m. Eastern on Bold Brave Media and TuneIn Radio. Attorney Renee Marie Smith is changing the way we sell real estate. She wrote a series of books called My Short Sale Guru Guides for all real estate practitioners. Whether you're a homeowner wanting to understand the process, an agent who has been handling short sales for years, or an industry analyst wanting to know how short sales impact your business, Renee uses her vast real estate experience to take a comprehensive look at the recent market phenomena while relaying it in an easy-to-understand format. Through her company, Smith Title Services, Renee has counseled thousands of short sale participants and processed in excess of a 1,000 short sales. Her knowledge is transformational for real estate professionals and laymen alike, and her live presentations provide people the opportunity to ask specific questions about their issues. Buy her books and schedule her to speak at your next event. Visit www.smithtitleservices.com or call 305-705-3428 or email her at renee at smithtitleservices.com. Isn't it time to sell your property today? Learn the My Short Sale Guru way. We are back. You are listening to the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. This is Flame Ministry. I'm your host, Pastor Kathleen Panning, and my guest today is Chris Gustafson. She is the Director of Music Ministry at Prince of Peace Lutheran Church in La Crescent, Minnesota, and she facilitates a drum ministry, drum circles. Uh, And we've been talking about a a bunch of this, and before the break we were talking about how uh, drumming bonds people together in community and grounds us in that kind of community as well. But Chris, there, there, you shared with me that there are a lot of potential health benefits to drumming as well. Uh, please share a little bit about what you know about that. Okay, well, drumming is a, actually a very time-honored method of healing whereby it helps us to physically release tension, lifts your stress, um, can dispel negative feelings, and restore your energy again. It just, it drumming makes you feel better. It's almost like it becomes drum therapy. And when we can find something that's calorie free, caffeine free and drug free, that makes us feel outstanding. um, I can't can't think why we wouldn't want to do more of it. And so um, what what you find is that um, the, the physical act of of hitting a drum, whether you're drumming with your hands or some people choose to have a beater or mallet, the physical act of doing that begins to work the tension out of your body. In addition, the vibrations from the drums in the room, um, either the drum that you're holding or playing or listening to, the vibrations in the room also will physically release that tension from your body. 
and we'll, you, we'll, you will find the stress and the worry just begins to wash away. It's very interesting. We have one of the drums that we have is a, is a kind of buffalo frame drum, and you hold it up against, sort of against your shoulder, and usually beat it with a mallet, although not always. And when you play that buffalo drum, and that buffalo drum came from the ancient traditions of the Native Americans for sure, when you play that drum for a while, all of a sudden you feel your entire body with those vibrations from that drum, and they enter your body, and you feel the vibrations travel down one side of your body, and then will literally hop over and travel on the other side of your body as well. And, and you have physical manifestations then of those vibrations themselves. So the, the release of tension um, and stress is a combination of, yes, you're drumming out your, your stresses, you're drumming out your worries, you're physically doing something. Sometimes you're literally pounding your worries into the drum head. Sometimes you're literally just pounding out whatever is, is um, binding you up with stress and trauma. Um, but in addition to doing that, there's also the element of the vibrations from the drum that even if you don't have the intention of, of drumming out stress and worry, the mere vibrations and being present with all of those vibrations in the room really does physically help your um, tight muscles to release and you will feel much calmer and more relaxed. And, and as a result of that, once you can kind of get rid of that muscle, t- muscle tension and that stress, all of a sudden you feel very, very connected to your own sense of being. You find yourself very, very tuned in to yourself um, rather than tuned in to your worries. And through doing that, um, what that allows you to do is then work through some of, some of your things that you might have brought into the room. And, and it, can be, um, it could be a matter of an, an affirmation mantra. You could decide that, you, that you've been wrestling with, with something and, and because you've become emptied of the stress and the worry, now you want to work um, to, to, to bring yourself positive power and positive personal um, release. And so you might come up with an affirmation that becomes a mantra. Um, I'm important, or I am worthy, or I am loved, or whatever that might be for you. And you just drum that over and over again, because you have released the physical tension. And now you become an empty vessel to then have the input of whatever affirmation you might want to be putting um, into your own healing practice. And through that, um, you find your, your ability and your own personal power um, to heal yourself in a way that many, many other things are unable to do. Um, and so you then can take responsibility for your own health and well-being in a new way, in a new technique. Um, and it's so interesting because in the process of coming to a drum circle and pausing and sitting down in the chair, you are being very, very intentional about paying attention to yourself, paying attention, paying attention to what you personally need and what you personally desire and what you personally intend to receive from your drum circle time. And by just taking that time set apart from the busyness of your day, taking time to slow down in and of itself is beneficial and meaningful. And then if you can input some positive mantra for yourself, after you've slowed down, you've emptied out, then you're going to input positive affirmations through your rhythms, through your hands, through your drums. Um, you, will, you find yourself just empowered. Um, it's almost a, a feeling of bring on the world now. Here I come. Um, it's a recharging of your own personal battery. It is, it is a way to, um, to personally experience um, the benefits, um, not only mentally, but physically. And, and so if you, are, if you are participating in a practice that is, is helping your mind and helping your body and reaching deep down into your soul. And it's something as simple as sitting in a circle with people in chairs beating on a drum where there has been no rehearsal, 
no performance will come of this. Um, there's nothing required other than you are present. Why wouldn't you want to participate in a drum circle? I mean, it's just, it's an amazing mystery. It is an amazing mystery, um, but, but has so many interesting aspects to it. We're going to have to leave a little bit more of that till the next segment because we have to take another break right now. Um, this, And we're going to talk a little bit more about how it deals with some specific uh, illnesses and some of the benefits of that when we come back. This is a Flame Ministry on the BBM Global Network and tune in radio. Stay tuned. We're coming right back. Tune into It's All About You with host Dr. Martha Latz, a lively weekly broadcast on BBM Global Network, one of the most empowering shows for time-starved, overscheduled multitaskers. The professional expertise of Dr. Latz is directly available live every Thursday at 1 p.m. to answer and address concerns about relationships, life transitions of career, meeting, dating, and committed relationships. It's All About You with Dr. Latz will expand your understanding of current and concerns across your relationships by broadening and expanding possible solutions in developing skills for mutually desired outcomes. Dr. Martha's expertise is as a licensed marriage and family therapist, life, transition coach, and all things to do with communication at work, home, and with friends. Check out her website at auniquetherapycenter.com. Introducing betterhomeandgarden.com. That's www.betterhomeandgarden.com with just the letter N in Better Home and Garden. Betterhomeandgarden.com offers you the highest quality products on the market that are environmentally safe and effective and to make them available to you at the lowest possible prices. Betterhomeandgarden.com understands that kind of creativity and do-it-yourself attitude. Thus, we developed our website, betterhomeandgarden.com. Betterhomeandgarden.com offers you the following products right online. Bath, bedding, collectibles, craft, sewing and hobby, food and beverage, furniture, home decor, kitchen and dining, lamps and lighting, large appliances, musical instruments, outdoor cooking, patio items, pet supplies, plant and garden, rug and floor coverings, small appliances, travel and luggage, and so much more. Better Home and Garden is an online retailer offering a wide variety of high-quality brand name merchandise at discount prices. Our service is personal and we aim to please. Visit us at www.betterhomeandgarden.com. Make your home your own. Welcome back. This is a Flame Ministry here on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. And I am your host, Pastor Kathleen Penning. Uh, my guest today is Chris Gustafson. She is the director of the music ministry at Prince of Peace Lutheran Church in La Crescent, Minnesota. And we're talking about the drum circle ministry that is going on at Prince of Peace. Uh, So, Chris, we've got so much we could talk about here, but I want you to have time to talk about what it's like, the instruments you use, and what it's like at when people gather at Prince of Peace. So start out with what kind, you know, what kinds of drums you use or whatever else you might be using. Okay. Um, Even though we we call it a drum circle, we have many more instruments that are not drums as well. Certainly we have a wide um, cross-section of of drums, um, from djembes um, to congas to tubanos, and, and a variety of, of other, um, you know, body drums and regular drums that you would consider. Um, we also have a variety of sizes of frame drums um, so that a person that doesn't want to have a larger body drum can just hold a frame drum um, in their lap or um, at their shoulder. We have a wide variety of different kinds of mallets and beaters. Some people like to drum with their hands because they want that tactile physical connection to the drum head, but other people um, just would prefer to have a, a beater or a mallet to be able to beat the drum with. All of that is accepted and it's all available. But in addition to the drums, we also have a wide cross-section of unpitched percussion instruments that are available for people to use. Um, because sometimes um, you have something that you want to express and a drum just doesn't do it for you. And so you might, um, you might want some maracas or a kabasa or um, some little egg shakers or a rain stick or an ocean drum or claves 
or we just it we really have just a wide cross section of instruments that make noise, make rhythms, make sounds. Um, some of the favorites are are stir drums. Um, we most recently picked up an udu drum, which is a vessel, a clay vessel pot kind of drum. Um, we're, we're adding to our collection all the time because what we're finding is sometimes people come in and come in with a certain um, thought or desire or need, and all of a sudden, though they don't realize it at the time, they'll select a drum that, that will be appropriate for where their mind and, and, and soul and heart are. For example, um, a woman came in once, and she was, was talking with a friend as she entered the room, and she said, you know, I have, I have a really, really difficult decision that I need to make, and I need to decide on this or this. And... Um, and so, so she had to choose between two. And she said, I'm really agonizing over that. And um, she walked up, and one of the other people in the circle said, maybe you want to play the bongo drums today. And so she picked up a set of bongos. And through the next hour, she worked through those two choices um, on those two different drums that were connected. And at the end of the hour, though she hadn't said specifically that that's what she had come to drum circle for, um, as we were walking out, she says, I've made my decision, and I think the bongo drums helped me work through that in my head. So, so sometimes certain instruments um, just they reach out to you. Um, sometimes if there's a lot of thoughts um, stirring around in your head, you'll, you'll grab the little stir drum and you'll work on playing on playing. This is very. It's not you know technically it's not even a drum. It's a mallet and, and wooden slats, and you just you can stir your thoughts and ideas. And so so it's it's really really important um, for our drum circle ministry that we have a wide cross section of instruments available to whatever. Is, is appealing, calling out to people what they feel like they want to play. And a lot of times people will change instruments during, during the time that we're together. They'll, they'll drum on a djembe for a while, and all of a sudden they'll decide, no, I just want to sit with an egg shaker for a bit. Or, no, I really, I really want to work with an ocean drum and just hear that sound of the water washing over me or, or whatever. And so it's, we try to provide a, a broad cross-section of instrumentation so that people can just choose and and, you know, tap into their own creativity and desire for uniqueness um, so that they can sound different. And their rhythms then um, are layered on top of all the other rhythms of the drums and the different pitches from the, from the different drums. Yeah, so as we enter, so, yeah, as we enter yeah. the room for a drum circle, um, we might all, um, we, we generally try to center ourselves and, and create a calmness. Um, as we begin, and I invite people always to set an intention for their drum time together, because whatever you seek in the time that you're spending, you are much more likely to receive, because that's what you're focusing on. Um, and I very, very intentionally, I think I've talked about this before, I very intentionally omit God talk or church language, because though it is implied in what I am doing, and most of us, that's where our heads go, um, it is, it, I do not want that to be a barrier, because our circles are open to all. And so um, I, I just in, invite people to, to let their own um, choices of, of where their hearts and minds are going without being prescriptive. And then I often will just begin with a heartbeat to invite people to tune into their own heart's desires. And then a lot of times as the drumming um, invites people to then join me, they will um, join initially imitating my own heartbeat that I'm drumming out and then they will begin to embellish those. So what I maybe what I do is let's just give this a try. Um, I'm going yeah. to um, see if Please I can do. just start out with, yeah. a, with a drum heartbeat and, and let you kind of hear and experience what that might seem like. We'll try it. Okay, thank you. like that and we would begin and then people would just join and add with whatever rhythms layering on top of that they might want want to do and what might want to add and they just kind of tune in to what they feel like 
would be their own personal contribution at that point. And it's so interesting that the group quickly settles into what's called entrainment, where you're all grounded together and united with the pull of that common pulse. And then the drumming is really without any verbal um, instruction, because I do not give verbal instructions. I do not say, oh, let's get louder, let's get softer, let's crescendo, let's stay crescendo. I don't use mu musical terms at all, and I don't give musical directions at all. Um, not with my voice and words, but the drumming will increase in volume, and it will decrease in volume. There will be ebbs and flows in the drumming. All It just occurs naturally. And, and it thickens and thins depending upon what people are contributing. Um, and it does that all on its own. And I never have to specifically call out a conclusion to a round of drumming. I could, um, and I was prepared to do that as I was learning how to be a facilitator. I was learning how to essentially halt the sound. But I have found that I do not need to do that, that the drumming just reaches its own conclusion and comes to comes to a stop together. The group That's unites. The, yeah, thank you for sharing that. We, we have to take one more break. Uh, there's more to share um, about how we conclude things here, but this is the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. Um, you're listening to A Flame Ministry, and we are going to be coming right back. Stay tuned. Essential Nutrients LLC is the brainchild of entrepreneur Barbara Burns. Inspired by a desire to help others, Barbara worked with a team of scientists to develop unique nutritional liquid supplements with the goal to improve the quality of your life. Glucosamine, zinc, and calcium are essential to well-being, and this is the focus of Essential Nutrients, LLC. Whether you're a professional athlete, weekend warrior, student, business owner, or homemaker, Essential Nutrients offers products for everyone, including the family pet. And they're easy to take, no pills. Health requires commitment, exercise, a good diet, proper supplementation, and action. So take action today and get your supply of essential liquid nutrients by visiting www.essential-liquids.com. Don't put off your health any longer. Take essential products today and start to measure the difference. Well, welcome back. This is a Flame Ministry here on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. I am your host, Pastor Kathleen Penning, and uh, my guest today is Chris Gustafson, uh, the Director for Music Ministry at Prince of Peace Lutheran Church in La Crescent, Minnesota, and we're talking about drum circles and a drum ministry and Chris we are quickly running out of time so what's one last thing you want to share with people that they know about this drum circle well as much as I've been talking over this last hour I will say that it is quite difficult to really explain and put into words what some of the mysteries are of drum circles and so it is truly something that needs to be experienced it's a very ancient and primal practice it isn't anything new but what is new is that we're actually drumming in churches drumming in community centers drumming in schools drumming in nursing homes yes even in the midwest and we're using drumming as a spiritual prayer practice as well as using it as a mechanism to bring people together. And though it, as I said, it isn't always easy to put into words, um, but when, when our drummers leave the circle, they always tell me that they feel so grounded, they feel connected to one another, they feel relaxed, but somehow they are energized. Um, and ready to step out into the world again and embrace whatever their day brings. Uh, that's, that's beautiful to hear and to know about. And I want people to know that they can get in, if they want to try a drum ministry or drum circle, wherever they are, they can get in touch with you and they can do that by uh, either emailing you and it is at popmusic. Uh, which is P as in Paul, O, P as in Paul, music at A C E group dot C C. And I'm going to spell that again P 
P-O-P-M-U-S-I-C at a Charlie Edward group at Charlie Charlie, uh, or excuse me, it's Charlie Edward group at CC, uh, dot CC, I keep saying at. Um, so pop music at A-C-E group dot CC. I'll get it straight yet. And, and um, the phone number for Prince of Peace is 507-895-4440. So that's the way for people to get in touch with you, Chris, to learn more about drum ministry and drum circles um, and to think about maybe starting one at your own faith community or wherever you are in wherever you're working or whatever you're doing, I can see so many different possible uses for this and so many different ways that uh, this could be a real gift in a community, uh, in a prison ministry, in nursing homes, uh, in all, uh, with uh, children, with uh, teenagers, with adults, all kinds of different possibilities with that. Um, so please, if you're interested, get in touch with Chris. Uh, and to learn more about what I do, uh, in addition to this radio show, uh, I invite you um, to get in touch with me. And if you know of someone who's really, really creative but has a hard time following a project through to, to completion, or if there are members or leaders who treat change kind of like the plague, uh, or if there's someone in your community who's always pointing out potential problems, or maybe you know someone who's never satisfied unless that person is in charge. And if you've ever wondered how to get all of these different personalities to work together more effectively and for better ministry, um, then please contact me. I have some other ways to do that at aflameministryconsulting.com. I have a free uh, con uh, brief consultation to, uh, for people to uh, find out more about ministry sessions, strategy session. So thank you, Chris. It's been a blessing to have you here today. Uh, thank you for sharing about the drum ministry and to all of you who are listening, peace and blessings for the week to come. Stay tuned next week for another show. This has been a Flame Ministry with your host, Pastor Kathleen Panning. Tune in each week as Kathleen guides you through the many challenges that face our faith-based communities today as she ignites the ministry of your faith community so that more people can hear the message of God's love on Kathleen Panning's A Flame Ministry. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company. 